said uh, Western Washington didn't have too good of a game. Uh, Digipen holding strong with that defense, but I do believe Western knows this map a lot, so they're going to be like, yeah, we're going to get in your face. We're going to do this. It's going to be, yeah. I will you know? say, I hope that Western Washington can kind of do what uh, Digipen did to them last game, where it's just like the terror throw in the attack. I kind of want to see the re I kind of want to see the reversal on that. The, re the reverse. The reverse. All right, here we go. We're rolling into the game now, as we do, as always, here at the D Shoutcasting Club at Digipen. We're going to go ahead and run down the wonderful team member names uh, over on Digipen. We have Klein, Maple, Roshik, Fuznip. I like that name, whoever has that. Sparrowbird and j -Shap. And meanwhile on Red... <laughs> Meanwhile, on Red Seam with uh, Western Washington, we have Zero, Aeon Void, Nazarak, Vivilati, Vicola, and Slain. So, I'm looking at these teams here. You're looking at these teams here on the stream. <laughs> I'm enjoying these teams a lot. I, will I am. Uh, Can't wait for them I to see like, each other. I like, I like what Zero's picking. I, li I like with Vicola. And, uh, and we'll get through this you know, just fine. I think the team's looking pretty good right now. <laughs> All and right. We, we can't give things away. It's it's very secretive until they leave. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, that being said, looks like both of the teams are getting ready. Uh, defense, as we were discussing earlier, making sure they're getting that wonderful hey. high point. I man, looks like we are right on one thing. This is amazing. Um, if you look at the moon, you can see the next Blizzard ARG. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I can get. Those window glasses things oh, and play the, ho the hololens, the hololens and play this. I will enjoy this so much. I might actually play it for once. <laughs> Am I a caster? <laughs> You're a caster. Oh man. I'm enjoying, uh, enjoying these strategies. All right, last three seconds until uh, red team comes out to try and punch a hole into blue team. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. And red team already on the point, pushing it forward as the blue team is now going to be getting ready on that first choke point with that first straightaway as they come around the corner. It looks like they see the shield, and they're going to just heavily impact that as much as they can. Uh, man, Klein, you're And Void still rocking as Reinhardt. Nazarak still rocking as Diva. Both, we saw them last game. Despite Western Washington, Washington losing, they were really strong players. As, as Reinhardt and D.Va. Meanwhile, we do have Klein, uh, Klein, uh, who's Reinhardt, and j Shaf holding strong. Can't wait to see j Shaf continue to just tear through people as Reinhardt. j Shaf deciding that the shield is not worth it, so he gets the hammer out to so push him back as much as they can as the two tanks over on the red team. They're just pushing back, making sure they can get as much damage in there as possible so they can get rid of Zarya, who has the pink hair. <laughs> and meanwhile, Zarya is still at 100 and just under energy. Um, Zarya's doing a really good job of making sure that our team is still defense. Uh, only Zero is down on Western Wash team's team now. Digimon is doing a really good job of holding the payload where it is currently. This is definitely a really great place to have it because of this wonderful arch here. They can't get above you. They, it's very tight on the sides here. They literally have to stand behind it and use the truck as cover itself. And down goes the Zenyatta ult as he ends up just keeping his team so that no one would die, gets the Zarya barrier on him, goes pretty good, and Void is down on uh, on Western Washington's team, and Zero has now swapped from Vera to Reaper. Reaper can work way better on Dorado just to how just due to how uh, up close everything is. Definitely, that can be very useful for him as well, especially as soon as he gets his ult, he just ba -ba 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 into his circle and just, ah, they're all dead. And meanwhile, I am terrified with Digipen. They have four of their ults up, especially of, oh, now five now. We have, f and down, wait, was that Zarya? No, okay, no, that no was not Zarya. Yeah. But down goes Roshik's uh, 76 ult. We now can see how much that ends up doing. And Void ends up getting plowed through. Nazarek and Vicola are both down. And down goes the Mercy ult, bringing the back to the end, and then Zarya ult pushes in along. It's a team wipe. <laughs> Michael, what analysis do you got for this, man? They're dead. <laughs> uh, no, but that was a wonderful Mercy ult. Uh, hold on by Vivalandi there, making sure he gets the rest of the team up so they can get on the point, keep it on there as much as they can. But since Digipen is doing amazingly, having stock up all those ults, that's what we wanted to have here. Literally. Four alts down on the blue team. They had six of them, and they're just all gone now as the payload now and pushes meanwhile, back. meanwhile, red team is now pushing back up. And Void, Nazrak, and Slain both have their ults. So meanwhile, Maple and Fuznip still have theirs. Uh, Maple can really help. And down goes the Diva ult. Is that going to cap anyone? Managed to, I think, get rid of a climb, but Maple and Fuznip still have their ults. Uh, looks like we had a little Roadhog on Roadhog action there. We did, and Amboy, Vivaldi, Vicola, and Slain are all taken down by, I'm assuming, whatever Roadhog ult that just went down with Fuznip. Uh, Reaper is saying he doesn't want to be oh. there, but it's taken out by Roadhog with his hook. Oh. 
Now holding on to the point as much as they can is they're now gonna have that pushback. Red team that scrambling like to get hurt. back to the point. <laughs> Uh, man, that hurt. He's dead. That's not hurting. He's Reaper's, dead. Reaper's already dead. Uh, so Maple still has the Zenyatta ult. That's going to be really helpful for the team. Sparrowbird now has the charge along with J-Shap. We could be seeing a very strong play here from Digiman to keep them off. And Void Vivaldi and Vicola both have all have their ults as well. We could be seeing a very strong ult versus ult play here, especially at top of the payload right now. As we look at the ults over here, we have Reinhardt on the red team having his ult. We're probably going to be seeing that here soon to get that going. Uh, Roadhog trying to get the hook. Down goes the ult, managed to pop the Mercy, and charges out, getting rid of Anvoid. Vivaldi is unfortunately dead, even though they have their ult. But down goes the Zenyatta ult, keeping his team alive in this little section here, as Roadhog is just discord orbed and just smacked around. What did I say? I told you that Reinhardt would go. <laughs> And, oh, down goes the Mercy Ult, bringing back four. Vivaldi, come, Tress, come back. But unfortunately, game one goes to Digipen. Unfortunately for Western Washington. That Mercy Ult was not enough, but definitely was an amazing ult getting five people there. Huge. 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 <laughs> it's like... It's like they wanted to survive. They wanted to survive, but I unfortunately, survive. they were not able to get back to the payload in time just to, just due to where they died, unfortunately, as uh, over time, as the clock was ticking down. So as we're waiting for this, I would just like to appreciate the detail on this. Uh, this cactus, <laughs> it looks like it's phasing through itself. Dude, I that is the best video game rendered cactus I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure it, the cactuses don't look like this. If, if I was to give this cactus a rating, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. <laughs> a seven? solid 7 out of 10. Why 7? I mean, like, it's not totally real. You can see it's still a bit cartoony. Well, yeah, it's a very cartoony art style. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, it's still, you know... Oh, here they are. still looks like this. Uh, so, yeah, with uh, Digimon, we still have Klein, J-Shap, Buzznip, Maple, Sparrowbird, and Roshik. And over at Western Washington University, we have Nazarak, Vicola, Slain, Zero, Vivalandi, as well as Aeon Void. Ooh, I like that name. Roosh. <laughs> anyway, uh, looking at team, uh, looking at team comps here, uh, kind of different from what I was expecting, especially for uh, now not, defense on Dorado. Not the meta I was told, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the meta is always right. <laughs> Wait, it's Bill. Oh, 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 Fuzznip, I love you. <laughs> Notice Fuzznip, and I'm like, I love you. So as we're waiting for the time, we're just honestly, oh, sorry, D Diva, that's... Diva, <laughs> Diva, having a seizure right there. Come on, man, don't mix it up. Remember, Zarya has pink hair. Zarya has pink hair. Anyway, we're moving to the last seconds here. As now, now teams now go out. Uh, Roche is still, Roche is now playing Genji Sparrowbird. Uh, Anna Maple still playing as Lucio. Fuzznip now on Diva. J Shap still rocking that really good Reinhardt. And Klein still rocking his, uh, as Zarya. Uh, with that being said, it looks like we have Zid. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Words. They come out of my mouth. So, Reinhardt making his way onto the point. Oh! Smashing past the Symmetra turrets that went up. And down goes Slain! And oh! J Shav is doing a really good job, and they're all right because um, Western Washington couldn't push it up all the way. Now, now Digimon just has to get to the very first checkpoint in order to win this game. It, that's honestly all they have to do here and there. It's at the same exact choke point that we saw before. They're staying inside that archway as much as they can so they can make sure that they don't keep coming out. Symmetra turrets are helping a lot, but is also down. Nazrik is unfortunately also down, but it looks... Oh man, is Digimon pushing through? They're, they're like two inches away. <laughs> Uh, down goes Zero, down goes the Edwards back in the game, but Nazar goes down. Zero and Vivaldi both go down too. The go Slain goes down too. Actually, it is and down goes the Diva ult. It, who's that gonna hit? Five meters away from the checkpoint that they need to get to, and that's all they need to do. Digipen is hard hard onto the point as much as they can. As the payload keep moving forward. And always onto the checkpoint. And that's and all they, they do to get the round and get in the win for the match. There goes the final score, 1 0 in favor of Digipen. 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 <laughs> Digipen wins. Congratulations. And now, let's see the play of the game. Or play of the match. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's a game. And it's Klein Azaria. What happened here? I don't know, but it looks like Zarya's oh, gonna go with that. It looks like an ult, boys. Looks like an ult. Oh, this is the ult it's at the very end. Oh! oh! I remember this. This was such an amazing thing, getting that six elimination. Wow. 
Yeah, that was almost a team wipe at that point. All right, that being said, let's go head over to Christopher Crisscross Christensen. All right, well done. Congratulations. The Digibin Dragons, go ahead and take a seat in the back. I've actually got Jesse J. Shap Shapiro up front. Welcome and well done. Thank you. So what were your actual thoughts about the Western Washington team? How well did they play against you? Uh, I think the first map, uh, they kind of lost track of ults in the beginning. And then at the end, they, they kind of regrouped. And they, they were able to stop us for like a few minutes there. But then we... Um, we decided to actually just focus the Mercy because she was getting really good reses off. Like, the Mercy player is really good, probably the best player on their team. She, she was probably the biggest problem for us, just getting, like, five-man reses over and over again. Very good. Now, which of those two maps do you think was your better one? Definitely the second map. I mean, we held them, like, right under the bridge, which is the hardest point to get on that map. Uh, and we were, we were able to hold it the whole time and then get through ourselves. Okay. Very good. All right, once again, thank you very much, Jesse J. Shep Shapiro. That is it for the very first round, the best of three. DigiPen is going to progress on to the grand finals against either Central Washington University or University of Washington, Washington Esports. My name is Christopher Crisscross Christensen, and we'll be back in just a moment. Thank you very much.